Hi everyone, welcome to this series. I want to have a series and it will run through the month of December. I know we are remaining maybe five days to the month of December, but I have decided why don't I give my viewers, my subscribers, a series of lessons where I come and train you everything that I know about patterns and I will be here updating you each and every day. So today we are lesson one. Guys, if you have not subscribed to this channel, how would you uh, allow yourself to not to be notified every time I post a new video? Remember, guys, these are the series that will really improve your improve your, your trading skills. And also you can make something out of what I will teach you. If you want to, to celebrate the Christmas holidays, to be able to buy something for yourself, to be able to tick that goal you had uh, on your book, make sure you follow my videos up to the end. So what I will be doing, I will start this series and um, I have not known the name yet, but we on the way I will know the name, but today is lesson one. And I want to teach you everything I know about patterns. Guys, I started with patterns and past patterns encouraged me even to keep on pushing in the market because if you know how to buy, if you know how to sell, if you know the reason why you're placing that a buy trade, you get even more motivated. So take your notebook. This is lesson one. And we are going to learn how to trade. This is our first lesson. How to trade double bottom on four hour. So that is our first lesson. I want people to have testimonials where they say, oh, I listened to this video and I applied it and it worked for me. So how to trade double bottom on four hour. And before even we go directly to the, uh, to the video or to the lesson of today, every time I'll be giving you a lesson, I have to give you the rules. Number one, anytime you want to trade a double bottom, these are the rules. Anytime you want to trade a double bottom, number one, you need to uh, trade double bottom on an uptrend. Don't look for a downtrend. Even if you see a double bottom on a downtrend, leave it alone. Double bottom on an uptrend, uptrend such, uh, supports buyers. Uptrend supports buyers. Double bottom will look for buyer market. So the alignment with the uptrend and uh, looking for double bottom to buy, it's what I'm saying. The first rule is you have to check for your uptrend. So anytime you open a chart and you trigger at an uptrend, the first thing that comes in your mind, I can start looking for a double bottom. Number two, the double bottom that you want to trade is the OPT double bottom. And I will show you what I mean. It's supposed to be on, on one time frame, one pattern on one time frame. That's what we mean by OPT. So in this case, the double bottom that you will find on four hour. Remember, this is how to trade double bottom on four hour. If you spot that double bottom on four hour, it's not supposed to be available on the daily. It's not supposed to be available on the weekly. It's not supposed to be available. You're not supposed to see. That's what, that is the second rule. And then you need to understand that uh, the, that thing is your target. Before even the target, what is the strategy? How do you enter? The strategy for entry on four hours, what do we use on a double bottom? Trust me, I am starting with double bottom to avoid confusion. We use CRB strategy. So CRB means current resistance break. That's what CRB means. So strategy for entry, we use CRB strategy, current resistance break you need to to know the strategy that you are using number four what is the target so in this double bottom we'll have two targets we have two two targets two tp so the first tp is half and i will show you how what i mean by half the second tp is neckline Okay, so first TP is half, our second TP is neckline. And the last rule is, the last rule is the exit. How do we exit? How do we know that the double bottom has, by, has been violated? 
if you are if you are trading a double bottom we don't want to see csb current support break anytime current support break happen on a double bottom you exit and i'll show you what i mean current support break so current support break is your exit current support break is your exit so screenshot the rules don't forget and let's get down so the first thing we have said i will be let me just push it up so that i will just go and look for it so the first thing we have said we have to check our uh, the trend so i have opened my gbpsd this is on a daily time frame you need to uh, to look at the daily time frame to see the trend of the market so if i'm looking on the daily time frame this market is on an uptrend so you can see the market since 2022 all the way it has been buying for years that is a stiff uptrend like the market has been buying for years and now when we are on an uptrend we qualify to look for a double bottom remember if the market was on a downtrend let's say this was our market we will not look for a double bottom we'll be looking for a double top if this is the case you can see here the market is going down the difference between a downtrend and uptrend when the market is on a downtrend you don't look for a double bottom you look for a double top and that video that lesson i'll be teaching you soon so here we are interested with the a double bottom now there's something called break and retest in the market. So the market tends, if the market is on an uptrend, it breaks, then retest, breaks, then retest. I hope you know that concept of break and retest. And mostly it happens on an uptrend or trending market, either uptrend or downtrend. So if you if we can spot this chart, you can see the market tends to come and um, the market tends to come and retest uh, where it broke. So the, the resistance tends to be support. So the market had a resistance here, yeah, it turned to be a support. So this is break and retest kind of I think. So all these are resistance and they have been broken. So our chart is looking something like this. So we are waiting for the, this is where you eye your double bottom. You see all this retest, let me change the color. When the market now is retesting, that is when, and, and I hope that point you understand it. We look, um, and I can put it as a rule, um, one pattern. So the market is on an uptrend and we take advantage on retest. Look, look at retest. So as the market is retesting, that's when you can get those double bottom. So this retests, this is the only zones because the sellers are coming so they can form double bottoms. That's what I'm saying. When the market is retesting, you, of course, if it's on an uptrend, you can't find uptrend when the market is going up. You will look for double bottoms when the market is retesting. Now, in such a case, if we try to see how this market is going, you can see that whenever we had um, the market was was um, the market broke. You can see the market broke, came to retest, and you can see the formation of double bottom. You can see here we have a double bottom. Can you see that double bottom? It's because where the market came to retest, it will come to form double bottom. So you can see another example here where the market has come, it has retested and then come and done and give us a double bottom, okay? So in such a case, two things can happen. So in such a case, we have a break. You can see this is a break of a market. We call it BOR, break of resistance so the market has broken resistance and it's coming to retest so majority of people what the mistake they do they will come and start buying immediately because uh if break of if break of uh of resistance was that easy majority of people would be making a lot of money so the market makers know many people are placing their buys because they have seen oh the market uh the market broke here and now it has come to retest here but you see when 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 you when you say the market will retest here on my left i do not have something to make me uh wanna wanna think the market will be rejected but if i check down here the market can come to do double bottom you see that's what i'm saying on an uptrend you are looking areas that the market can come and do double uh, an uptrend. So here we have, uh, not uptrend, double bottom. So here we have 
a market, uh, a, a support that was created. Sellers came, tried, the market went up. The sellers can attempt to come here. That is the first culprit. When you have the pattern in mind, when you are really looking forward to have a double bottom in mind, you will be able to spot this. You won't be so in a rush to place your buy trades. Another thing, if this market broke resistance, uh, the market broke resistance, you can see it broke, we still have another resistance that is hidden. What if the market is coming to retest here? That's something else people don't understand. And if you can see this uh, trend line, our trend line, and this was just a random trend line that I put here. If you see this trend line, how comes it is so exact? So even trend line can, can help you uh, to know where the market will be coming to retest. Can you see the trend line? So the trend line has, um, I'm not a fan of trend line, but sometimes you can use the trend line to help you to be able to know if retracement comes, because retracement is what will build a double bottom when the market is coming down. You can see the market coming to this trend line here, and that's why we have put it there. And you can see the area where the market is showing us. So we will be patiently uh, waiting for either the market to come down here, gives us a double bottom, or when it comes here, we are checking double bottom on four hour. Now, this is what will happen. This is what happens. If the market comes to zone A, let me share, show you. If the market comes to A, not A, A. If the market happens to come to A, A is this one. If the market have come to happen to A, our double bottom will be on four hour because here we do not have a support. But if it comes directly and break and comes, like, you know, there's a way the market can just come uh, with a big push. You can have a, a, a red candle like that. Coming to activating that, we'll have a double bottom on the daily. So here you'll just be coming every day to check what happens. And you can see, can you see the market is coming to our zone? So what I need you to do uh, uh, because we were anticipating, I've told you, once you start seeing the market coming to the area, because you will never react if you had not analyzed. We react because we had analyzed. And I, I keep telling my students, always analyze everything. It's either the market comes to this zone B or comes to zone A. That one should be clear. Once it comes to zone A, you flip to four hour because you're thinking, what if the market wants to give me a double bottom? So when we flip on four hour and I look at my left, this is what I see. So I see already a double bottom that has been created. Can you see that double bottom? And this double bottom is not available on the daily, making it OPT. And that is how you get OPT strategy and OPT double bottom. That is what is making this double bottom powerful. If you never flip on four, and that's how you trade on four, you're not glued on four waiting for double bottom. You sometimes you will wait on the daily because remember the trend is your friend. So when I do like this, the reason why I'm saying I do not have a double bottom on daily, it's because double bottom is created by two supports. The first support, how is support created? A red candle. Support is created by a red candle followed by a green candle. So this is my first support. So I have my first support. And then once I have my first support, the market goes up. So I have a support. The market goes up, comes again and creates another support. That's how double bottom is created. Double bottom is created when two supports they reject the same key area. So I have the first one and I have the second one. And this is what, uh, guys, creates a double bottom. You see, now when we say, when you say double bottom is OPT is not on the daily, what we mean is that when I look on my first attempt where support should be, I don't see the red candle. Instead, this candle is green, you see? 
I don't see the red candle. So imagine having something like this. Can you say, surely you have a double bottle? There is no double bottle because double bottle, you know it's created when you have the first support and the second support. Now, in such a case, this is exactly what you have. But when I flip on four hours, our double bottom now is visible because both sides, both sides have red followed by green, the first attempt. And the second side has red followed by green. So I have first attempt and I have second attempt. But if I flip on the daily, that one disappears. So when I say my double bottom on four is OPT, that's exactly what I mean. And I hope I'm clear. That is exactly what I mean. When I say double bottom is OPT. So what do we do here? We need number one, we need the neckline. The neckline is the highest point from the first attempt. You see where you, you have your first attempt? The neckline is the highest point from the first attempt. And of course, that is our neckline. So I'll come and name neckline. First attempt from the highest point, that is neckline. And then I will take my measurement ruler and measure from the first attempt to the neckline to get the half. So remember the rules, what we said. We said um, double bottoms, you have two targets take profit. So I have um, I have TP1, half. Notice how we have come from even getting everything. We had everything together. And that's why I said this video, if you ever have ever asked yourself, but there how do people trade double bottom? This is the video you should be sharing to your family, to your friends, to your relatives, to you, anyone who wants to start trading patterns. And then TP2 is the neckline. So we have TP2. Now, we said that if you want to trade double bottom on four hour, which strategy are we using? We are using CRB. And CRB means current resistance break. So I need where the market is, I need to come up with a current resistance. And how is resistance created, guys? Resistance is created when a green candle is followed by a red candle. That's how resistance is created. Anytime someone will ever ask you, how is resistance created? Resistance is created when a green candle is followed by a red candle. Now, in such a case, do I have a resistance? And now this one is not just a resistance but is my current resistance. Now I have this, and now I'm waiting this resistance to be broken. When I mean break, if we mean break of resistance, we mean breaking with the body. There's a difference when the market breaks like that. That is the real breaking of resistance. This is what we call CRB, current resistance break. You see this one? This is CRB current resistance break. But don't ever think that this is current resistance break. This has not broken. This has not broken. This, this week means the market has rejected. So majority of people get confused uh, when, they, when the CR is being broken. So the first one is rejection. The first one is rejection. This, the first, the second one is rejection. The first one is the right CRB. So we are paying attention to see how the market will be rejected. So as we are waiting, you can see the market, uh, the double bottom has been violated. Can you see? Now, that's another thing. If this double bottom, because this is a support, we do not need a candle violating um, this you can see the red candle here, it has violated support. So we have, we still have another one. And these are some of the things that people don't even realize they are happening in their charts. And that is a red flag of that double bottom. So that has, has violated with this red candle. It has broken our first attempt. The market should not break out of the box. This green candle, the week it can, it can, but it's not supposed to break. So as you are seeing, the market also activated. Can you see? It also activated there. This green candle came and activated here. So now we are not looking at the first one. 
but we are looking at the second one and how that's why we leave the first one and we come to the second one, provided it's not available on the daily, okay? And resistance is still at the same point. Nothing has changed. Current resistance is at the same time. If I go on the daily, the question is, do I get that? Is, do I have any support here? No. So my double bottom is OPT. And because on the daily, I do not have that, that double bottom, I will still continue uh, trading this double bottom, okay? I'll continue trading this double bottom. So we are waiting. Now let's see our half. Having extended this double bottom, where is our half? Our half is slightly below, slightly below because of the adjustment of the double bottom. So that's what we have. I hope you can see it clearly. Let me remove that. So that is our double bottom. And um, we are still waiting for CRB. You see, when you're trading, when you're trading double bottoms, you're supposed to, to have all the patience because you don't want to make any mistake. Okay. So make sure your half is in the right place because that's where you will be targeting the money. That's where you target the money. So let's wait for CRB to happen. So the market again does not break. So we adjust our CRB. You can see now it has activated our double bottom even much better. And if they violate, come out of this box, we will we won't have a double bottom. That's that's done case for double bottom. We adjust our resistance. You can see we have green followed by red. As long as we have green followed by red, we adjust our resistance. So we keep adjusting our resistance as until we have CRB, resistance being broken. So you can see how the market is reacting and they are failing to break this resistance. And I don't know how... When you are in such a trade, what goes through your mind? What really goes through your mind when you're in such a trade? And you can see finally the resistance has been broken. Can you see? Finally, that resistance has been broken. So once that resistance has been broken, we are entering uh, how many pips? How many pips are we entering in this trade? 35 pips. Let me tell you. If you're a beginner and you manage to target 35 pips and it hit take profit, that's something to celebrate. That is something to celebrate. Don't allow someone to tell you, oh, target 100 pips to be relevant. Let me tell you, if 35 pips is what God has given you, that is your money. You have to start getting used to celebrate um, your wins because remember how many times you have blown the account. So for the stop loss, we don't use all the stop loss. We will use the breaking of the, if this uh, double bottom is violated like this, let's say the market violates like this, that's the exit. For me, I at that stage, I don't use stop loss. I will start using stop loss at the half stage. So this stage, I don't use stop loss because I have the exit point. And in the next candle, the TP was hit at five pips. Now, how do you trade from half to the neckline? That is another question. The way you trade half to the neckline, guys, is waiting for the half to break with the body. If the half breaks with the body, you have the trade. So you just wait patiently for that half to break the body like that. So we are waiting. We wait. We wait. And remember, guys, they have created CSB. I told you when you when half is broken, now the exits of this trade, if they break this CSB, if they break current support, CS, if they do CSB, you are out of that trade. So let's first see if we have an entry. So you can see they have broken it, but we do not have a break at above. So even they are not telling us to break at the end of the day. So we will we will still have our current support. If red followed by green comes, we have our current support. So this is what we will be checking if half is broken. Let's say, for instance,
the market had broken half. Let's say this green candle broke half and then came and broke CSB. That is your exit. But even if the CS was broken, we were not broken above. So there is no alarm because we do not have a breaking of that trade. So it's you to wait and see what will happen to that trade. And immediately the market gave you an entry. Now, if you enter this buy, enter with one thing in mind that I can get an exit at any time because now I have my support. Don't put your support, don't put your stop loss like this because the market can tap this support and stop you out and um stop you out and you're done. So what I do, I, I always check, do will the market break this current support? Let's say I buy there and then I have a red candle breaking that support. That is my exit. I don't need the, I don't need even to be told to exit. I'll just exit that trade and I will just accept. So if you enter this trade, the second trade seems to give you more money than the first one. So the second trade is giving you 116 pips. Let's measure again. The, the first trade is giving you 113 pips and already you have an exit point. So let's see what happened to this trade. Did it hit the take profit? You can see they are coming, they are attempting, they are attempting on this area. So you just, you just don't, um, you're like, I won't fear as long as I have an exit, I won't fear. You can see they still came down. And even if you had put this, you see, this is the, the after the breaking, they created another support, current support. If you are still fearful, this is a bit far. You can even put this one and they attempted to break. Now you have these two supports. You have the first one and you have the second one. And you can see they are not able to break. They are not able to break and the market hit your TP. So what you have learned from this video, and I I hope there's a lesson you have learned. You have learned how to exit a double bottom if it, it does not work on you. You just need to exit. Can I, I want to show you, and this one will be quick. I want to show you a trade we did uh, with the student. Uh, it was USDCHF, it was the same thing. Let me just show you quickly. I know this video is long, but it's worth it. So I want to show you the same thing that we had. So this was a double bottom. It, 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 it met everything, everything, guys. Like this is on, um, this is, this is four hour. I told you for you to ever trade double bottom, let your trend be uptrend. That is the first thing. So my trend is uptrend. And then I found this double bottom and I was so happy. Can you see this double bottom? Now I'm on four hour and I have this double bottom. The only way I can trade this double bottom on four hour is if I have if this double bottom on four hour, it will be it will be accurate if it is OPT. Okay, if it is OPT. So I will put the first attempt and the second attempt. Now, once I flip on the daily, I don't need to see any support on that area. So if I go on the daily, do you think it is OPT? It's OPT because I do not have any support on the left side. So I was so happy to trade this pair with this double bottom, knowing how to exit. Now I have to take profits. Now I do not trade take profit two, three and four, like I used to trade. I only trade to take profit half a neckline. So I had a neckline was there. And this was my half, okay? So I have my neckline. So this is my neckline. I want now to show you the only double bottoms that succeed. Huh? These are the double bottoms that, that succeed in the market. And this is the half. Now for the double bottom, I am looking for current resistance break. So I will be waiting for CRB or I use the one that already it's provided. This is my current most resistance. I can either use this or I wait the one that is provided. So here it's the market uh, going up, attempting to break and failing to break. You can see. So in such a case, 
we were never given the chance to trade TP1. There was no chance to trade TP1 because it broke the current resistance. And as it was breaking, it touched our take profit. Don't worry, there's still more chance to trade up to then to the neckline. So I was just waiting for the market to break the half. And as you can see, um, you wait patiently for that half to be broken and they, they were not breaking that half. So don't do anything. Don't start saying, oh, I want the half to be broken until they break the half. Now, this is what I want you to do. Anytime you enter a buy, here we will enter a buy. Number one, do you know where you will exit? How will you exit this trade? The most current support. It's like you're exchanging. You, ent you are entering with CRB. Now the exit is the current support. If this market breaks this current support here, exit that trade. I know majority of you do not have the exit, but it's always good to have exit because exit gives you more, uh, more courage to enter the trade. And this trade, guys, how many pips was this trade? Let's see. It was 58 pips. So you just come long position and you want 58 pips. Remember, our exit, if a red candle come and breaks and violate that support, that is our exit. And I hope I'm clear. You know that sometimes when you're teaching and you don't, you can't see or feel the response of whoever you're teaching, it's a bit hard to know if the students are understanding. So if they break this support, kindly exit. And from now henceforth, that's how we'll be trading the bottoms. So let's see how that trade manufactured and the TP was hit. Now, the reason why this trade was so accurate is because number one, it was on an uptrend. Number two, we used the right strategy and it was OPT. This double bottom was not on the daily, so it was OPT. We used the right strategy, CRB, and we had a strategy. We had a target. We didn't over target. We knew we are targeting to the neckline. And also we had an exit strategy and that was CSB. Thank you so much, guys, for even listening to me, watching up to here. If you have watched up to here, it means that you really want to, you really value Forex and you are telling God to help you to open your eyes. So I just want to do a prayer. I just want to pray to you that whatever you have learned from this video, that God will start to download information from heaven. The same way he has helped me, the same way he has helped me to be able to share this knowledge, to be able to comprehend it and even share it to the world. I want the same for you. Father Lord, I thank you for everyone who has listened to me. If this person has ended this video, it means, oh God, there is a passion, there is a zeal in them, oh King of Glory. The Bible says that if we lack wisdom, may we pray. Father, I'm stepping on their behalf. I'm coming forward with confidence. The Bible says that come to the throne of grace with confidence so that we may attain grace. We may attain mercy in the time of need. My Father, as we are entering in the month of December, the month of mercy, Lord, I pray these ones, they will have mercy, O oh God. As they watch this video, my Father, Lord, they will start be opening their eyes. You will open their eyes. Those who, are, who keep watching me and they cannot afford my fees, Lord, I am here to deliver this for free and I release their understanding of the Lord. I release the mind of Christ in each and every person who has completed this video, oh God. May you shower them with surprises in the market. May they understand. May they comprehend everything, oh King of glory. My Father, whatever is on me, the level of understanding that is on my head, Lord, is what I release to everyone who is viewing me right now. Everyone who has ended this video. And it's my prayer, my God, before 2024 is ending, they will have a testimony. What they could not achieve in one year, may you, may you make it achieve, my God, in the less time possible, my Father. I release the anointing of the Lord. I release the power of the Lord. The Bible says you are the Lord who gives us the ability, the power to make the world. May you give my viewers, may you give the subscribers their ability to make the world. I cover them with your precious blood of Jesus. I cancel the spirit of confusion, self-doubt, second-guessing, fear, 
in the name of Jesus. These ones, oh God, they shall succeed. I rebuke the spirit of giving up. I refuse the spirit of looking down upon themselves like they cannot make it. And I elevate the spirit of God in them. And I release the mind of Christ. I release the wisdom of Christ in their life. For it is in Jesus' name we do pray and believe. Amen. Thank you, guys. Love you. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.